Show and the Rob come out for game one. So I'm excited to see what should we be expecting from this matchup for Well, both of these characters love spamming their down B to get their item out onto play as mm -hmm. soon as possible and get crazy conversions from both of them. Most of the time you see both characters set back, but Rob is a character that can box. Rob can run in with the dash attack, the down tilt, the grabs, and get so much momentum off of that. So it's up to Unleashed to quail the beast that is Boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and already right off the back, Boost looking to start dominating a little bit. One thing you want to keep in mind is center stage is going to be a key factor for both of these players. It's not about what you can do at the ledge. It's about how you can have your stage control and get these setups that you want. Banjo gets a lot of grenades and a lot of eggs. Boost, one thing he likes to do is play a lot with Gyro. And without the Gyro in place, that takes away half of what he wants to do against a player like Unleashed. Wow, a very clever way to get off of the ledge there. Boost implementing some nice booster burners here. <gasps> but uh, he's going to have to boost a little bit more because uh, he just ran out of gas. Maybe he forgot to pick some up when on the way to the venue. I'm not sure. Yeah, not a good way to start off a boost, but sometimes you just got to shake it off and just get your head back in the game. And he's already racked up a little bit more damage. Already 90, 97 and then some off the back. You're definitely seeing that kill percent. You can see the stock being taken soon. But these are very questionable options from boost that are going to get you punished and get a good ladder combo off the back. 34 and then some for Unleashed to start off this game one. I mean, it looks like Unleashed is just picking up right where he left off from yesterday. This is polished play that is very difficult to counteract. That was his first Wonder Wing, and it was a mishap. Whatever, man. You take it. You get the stock on the platform. And you hear the crowd chanting for the years. You know they have to rep up their homeboy from the jersey. So, you know, they're doing really good to start off. I mean, Boost has a little bit of work crowd to make up, but nothing that Rob combos can't do. Well, anything you can do, I can do better, says Rob to this banjo, because those up airs, do a little bit more damage, a lot more knockback, and uh, they're a lot more cleaner. Even his down throw berry is better than Banjo's. That's yep. crazy, man. He's a DLC character. Give him <laughs> something. Yeah, man. You know what? You got to work with what you got. And honestly, Unleash does not care whatsoever what he has in his arsenal, but he, because he's just going to throw out a raw F smash, catch boost off guard, and now maintain a beautiful lead. I mean, especially with the buffs recently on that F smash, that move has become all the more deadly, and it was already good. Yeah. And right now, it's all about those setups, those disjointed uh, feathers of, uh, of Kazooie really paying off right now for Unleashed. But not going to get a jab lock there, but still going to opt to go for the forward smash. It's going to put Unleashed in a bad predicament, but even the gyro, you think your best friend would be helping you in this situation. But OK, we take it. Yeah, we P take what we can. PS2 is best friend in that one. <laughs> Yeah, we take it, man. But 78% of extra credit. Do not take that away from consideration because this could be a do or die situation for Boost if he's not able to get back on stage. Uh, Rob is a character that can make very explosive stocks happen, but Banjo is a character that plays preventative in that measure. He is so heavy, he is small, and he has the crazy walling game. I mean, Boost really has to find an answer here, but it's going to be tough. Yes, sir. All it takes is one. The great value up tilt gonna come into play and Banjo, Unleash, I should say, getting game one over Boost. It was seemed to be, I don't know, it, it, it was a shaky start for Boost. Yeah. It wasn't like he played bad. Yeah. It was just um, a mishap of, I didn't know how much uh, fuel I had left in the tank that first stock. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a given early lead for Unleash. But good stuff to both these players. Boost held his own, but at the end of the day, you were just far too down in the, the game to bring it back. Unleash getting a good, solid game one. And we are going to Town City. A lot more real estate to work around. Mm, yeah, definitely a ton of real estate, except for those narrow side blast zones, which Rob loves to take advantage of with his pesky little edge guard. So we'll see how Boosk handles the beast that is unleashed right now, because I, I, I said it once, I'll say it again, it looks like he never stopped playing since yesterday. Oh yeah, man, and he's still keeping it going, 19% right off the back to start off, but nothing that Rob can't bring back with a few hits, already 20%, and this is one thing that you want to keep in mind. You're giving Banjo, a character who loves to camp, a little bit more ground to work around, so he has a lot more time to set up, get those grenades out, get even a few eggs out, whatever he can, and just set up his gameplay. Nothing that Rob isn't, you know, opposed to doing, but um, 
yeah, one thing you want to do here, as you mentioned, those side blast zones are going to be a lot more easier to get some kills. And one thing that Boost hasn't been doing is using a lot of Rob's side beat. Yeah, that's true. Maybe saving it for the exact confirm for the right moment. But if there is a moment right now, <gasps> Unleashed rolling onto stage, almost getting the reversal there. That's so huge. Mm -hmm. And still looking really crisp to start off this game, too. Boost holding his own, just barely escaping the down throw, potentially into an up tilt. And the Wonder Wing just barely escaping once again. Who's getting really... Man, those grenade confirms are more than explosive. They are polished. Yep. They are polished indeed, but nothing that a down throw into a no mash. Beautiful option right there from Unleashed to uh, recognize that he was in a bad predicament, but not gonna get anything off of it is Boost. And now sitting that max rage percent is Unleashed. Looking really polished, not even like, really. There's, it hasn't been a stock and only been tacking on more damage. It is Unleashed, 60% right off the bat. Yeah, Unleashed now out of resources with that Wonder Wing, but he can still play the game plenty because he's got those keep away items. He's got the Kazooie Blaster, the F-Tilt. He has been parrying a lot of boost snares, but he definitely was not ready to parry that one. Yeah, sometimes you can't do them all. Sometimes you're gonna miss a few. Sometimes it may cost you your stock, but nothing that you can't do to bring it back. Just get those up air confirmed 67% of extra credit and then some beam tack on. This is really a game that Boost has to work hard for. And the Wonder Wing, not gonna seal the stock yet, but still, a lot of damage has been put on, B on Boost, and he's in a bad predicament right now, sitting at the corner. Oh, wow, yeah, that up smash with a ton of lag. Boost definitely gonna take advantage of that, but he is swinging far too much. He is not respecting the Wonder Wing as a comeback mechanic. Yeah. Well, comeback mechanic, not like Kazuya, you know? <laughs> but uh, come back to the stage. <laughs> well, you know what? It's paying off, and it seems like a down throw. It's the up smash, gonna mix it up a little bit this time. The match was there. But the option was precise from Unleashed, and now looking really dominant to start off this game, too. Once again, a beautiful stock lead with 24% of the damage already taken. Oh, that's a dangerous predicament, but keeping that shield up and controlled right now. Unleashed. I mean, d despite his name, he's showing a lot of discipline and control here. He, he ain't unleashing anything. He's just waiting for Boost to make these deadly mistakes and just capitalizing so hard. And once again, the parry on the Nair is gonna put Boost in a bad scenario once again. It, that's really been the name of the game. A lot of parries, a lot of good options, and beautiful mashing to escape that up smash that could have definitely killed him. The rapid jabs keeping him at bay. Boost has not been able to show the aggressive play that he likes and unleashed. Okay, yup, frame trap. Banjo's got plenty of options to deal with all kinds of mashing. Yeah, say what you want about Banjo. Unleash is really proving all the doubters wrong that this character is a force to be reckoned with. And right now, Boost really just playing the patient game. But at this point in time, you really want to make sure you know what you're doing as the up, down throw into up area is going to seal the stock. And now Boost, a lot of ground to make up, but nothing that we haven't seen him pull off before. Yeah, that's something we haven't seen Rob pull off before either with these excellent Z-drop confirms. So Unleashed is going to be looking for it, but the high nair on shield is not safe. And and that up smash from Banjo is one of the faster ones in the game. One thing that uh, Unleashed it so well is expecting the Nairs to come out. If it wasn't a parry, it was just hold shield and pick the right option at the right time to get the punish. In this case, for that final stock, all it took was one up smash. A reasonable percent 